Hello students, welcome you all again to this video lecture series on chapter mechanical testing of metals. Last time we have seen the first destructive testing method that is tensile test method. Second method we are starting here as an impact test. So before starting that, the first we will just look at what is the impact or impact force. So a sudden load applied to an any object is nothing but an impact or a impact force. Many examples you are observing in day-to-day -day life for the impact or impact force. Whenever a stationary object is heated by another moving body or body in a velocity, then that can be called as impact. Many examples are shown here pictorially. In this uh, slide you can observe the three examples. Hammer heated on the glass. So, and in second example that ball hits the baseball stick. So in both the examples there will be different results. In uh, first example there will be damage to the both the bodies that is which is stationary car and which is moving car. In second object that ball will uh, elastically moves uh, with the faster velocity again when it hit to the baseball stick. In third example the glass is brittle and whenever you are hitting with the uh, hammer that glass will break. So why it is happening because all the materials here are different and you are applying the impact force that is a sudden force you are applying on that component and due to its nature uh, whether it is a ductile, brittle or elastic material due to its nature they are behaving certain differently. So same thing we are going to study here uh, with the help of this impact test we are finding some parameters in this uh, impact test. So uh, one more diagram here below it is shown for the brittle and ductile material a stress strain diagram is shown. As for the ductile material yield strength is high and for the sorry ductile material yield strength is less and for the brittle material yield strength is more and after that there will be a small graph in the brittle material but larger graph increasing graph for the strain for the ductile material show the both the materials will show something different behavior under impact loading so that we will see in this impact test so whenever um, the under impact load uh, material behaves differently under different conditions such as a temperature also so at an, under temperature conditions they can behave uh, ductile material can behave uh, like a brittle material also so here in stress strain diagram you can observe ductile material uh, can sustain a load and with this certain amount of strain but the brittle material uh, after applying certain stress it will get break but in some cases for example a ductile material is there and uh, that material is used suppose for a making of ship and that ship is uh, floating over the water and that water has a very very low temperature at that low temperature at that low temperature suppose that temperature is minus 100 so that ductile material will behave like a brittle material and whenever certain impact load suppose iceberg is there and it hit to the uh, that ship body then that ship can behave like a brittle material and it can break immediately so under height sorry under low temperature also there is a chances of this uh, impact loading on the component and that ductile material will break like a, duct, a brittle material also so this uh, curve represents a change in a uh, fracture behavior from ductile at a high temperature to the brittle at a low temperature so this behavior of the line of a fracture is shown for the ductile and brittle material in between that a transition zone is there from uh, fifth, minus 50 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. So from this diagram also you can imagine that what is the importance of that uh, testing in, under impact loading and under at a different temperature conditions at a low temperature and at a very high temperature also. So why this impact test is necessary? Now through this impact test we are measuring uh, the impact energy that is energy required to break a standard size sample with a sudden or sharp load. In impact testing we are generally applying a sudden and sharp load 
so that that component will or standard specimen will get break and the energy required to break that specimen is nothing but impact energy so what amount of energy is required that we can calculate through this impact test this is the first thing and the joule is the unit used to measure this impact energy secondly we can find out the toughness uh, the impact test is used to find the material's toughness its ability and what is toughness you just have seen in the tensile test also uh, ability to absorb the energy without breaking or up to breaking point is nothing but a toughness and that can be found by this impact test also up to breaking or before just before breaking whatever energy absorbed by that material is nothing but a toughness and this impact test can be used to find out this material toughness um, next uh, third thing uh, we can determine the tendency of material in uh, brittle matter brittle manner how the material ductile material can behave under low temperature in uh, brittle manner that also we can study through this uh, impact loading now uh, these uh, whatever values we have found are important for the selection of material uh, that will be used in the application that require the material to undergo very rapid loading processes such as vehicle collisions so during these all examples whatever we have seen previously material selection is very important stage and for that material selection these parameter need to be calculated impact energy toughness and how the material behave uh, under low temperature so these three things we can find out through the impact test so the types of material for the impact testing so by using impact test we can test materials like uh, metals plastics wood composites ceramics polymers so all these kind of materials we can test by using impact test for these three parameters Im uh, impact energy toughness and how it behaves these three things we can find out for these materials by using impact testing however most of the material will experience either ductile or brittle failure depending on type of the test and rate of loading and the temperature of the sample so these three parameters will affect on the uh, behavior of the material so what is the procedure general procedure we will study here what is the general procedure for the impact test so firstly we will prepare a test specimen with a standard size and we will place that test specimen in a particular way uh, there are two types of these uh, impact testing in both the type we are placing the specimen some differently something differently so we are placing test specimen horizontally in some test and vertically in some test so that we will see next further but second step is after preparation second step is placing the sample in position third step uh, record the initial reading so there is one pointer shown here with the red color so that pointer will indicate the some readings we will record the initial rec uh, readings and one pendulum is there to that pendulum one hammer is attached so that hammer is pulled at certain height that height we will record and we will uh, um, release that hammer from certain height it will impact on that specimen it will break that specimen as shown in that animation it will break that specimen and it will go up to certain height again because it is a pendulum so initial height and from the final height we can find out the toughness and impact energy of that material of that material that we can find out from this impact test so after moving the pendulum we can pull the, the red handle brake so that the hammer will hit onto the material and after that we will record the reading displayed on that uh, pointer display so this is a general procedure for impact testing that we are going to follow now uh, there are two test methods for standard specimens for this uh, impact test firstly most common method of performing the impact test is charpy test and secondly isot test first is charpy test second is isot test these two tests are there for carrying out the impact testing so uh, there is not too much difference between the two tests because finally from both the tests we are achieving the toughness and uh, impact energy 
from both the test the uh, the these are the three uh, test all essentially to determine the same characteristics of material but different in orientation of the test sample so generally uh, in the charpy test sample specimen with the standard size is placed horizontally whereas in isot test sample test specimen is placed vertically so these two tests we will see in detail in the next video